What's up, everybody? Big Herc, get down, fresh out. You tune into another edition of Prison Talk. I got my here, my man Bosco 100, asking him some questions. And uh, this man is uh, a big influencer on YouTube, very deep into the hip hop culture. So I've got to ask him this question, man. Um, you know, seeing what you see now going on in hip hop and uh, just the culture in general, what do you think its influences and how it's affecting? you know, the black youth and, and just kids in general across the, you know, across the globe, man. I mean, I talk about this a lot. I do talk about this a lot on my own platform. And honestly, like being a dude that come from my era and like sitting back looking at everything, it seemed like, like to be gay is the new movement. Like <laughs> LGBTQ plus is like, it seemed like they kind of like affirmating themselves as like the next big movement. Like, yeah. you know, before like, you know, we had our Black Panther movement. Mm -hmm. Then we had the dope dealers. Mm -hmm. Then you had that, that, you know what I mean? You had the dope dealers. Then the gangsters came, the gangster shit came in. And then it kind of went to everybody trying to be a rapper. Now it's kind of like, all these niggas is gay. Mm -hmm. Now it's kind of like, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And it's like all these rappers, it's like, most of the biggest rappers, a lot of the bigger the bigger rappers that's more influential is kind of leaning towards that like you know what I mean? Like yeah. like like when I was young and I was coming up, like the niggas that we looked up to was they was men, they was manly mm -hmm. men, they mm -hmm. was gangsters, but like now the dude that these kids got to look up to, they they only like they look like fairies, like Exactly. They, they're they, confused. It's confusing, like yeah, you know for what a young I mean? Person. So it's like it seemed like this whole next generation is just gonna be like a soft ass, like you know what I mean? Real, real fl I'll say flimsy. It's gonna be yeah. flimsy. <laughs> it's gonna be a little, little flimsy. Yeah, like, you know I, mean? I was. I had just uh, posted a video about that man, and I said like. You know, they, they got like a whole thing now where boys can be princesses. I'm like, see what I mean? Dude, I mean, for, now, <laughs> if you're a grown man, that's your choice, man. But a little kid, my little son, he's a boy. That's what he, I'm he, saying. He's, you know what I mean? He's a boy. He does boy things. He's not, I mean, the role of a man in the household, what's happened to that? Now you know youth, what I mean? The youth is being targeted now because I even sit. It's an my, assault. My daughter is one. Like, and I sit, like, you know, I turn on uh, Nickelodeon and thing, and it's like, you can't even, like, they have to throw in these same sex marriage. Like you got dudes kissing and oh, like, it's like they man. like, they feel like they have to implement that. And it's At like, that age, why? Like why, like for what? It don't even make no sense. Like why this, so, but it's like, they want that. Subliminally. Be, they want it subliminally yeah. to be burned in their head at a young age so it could be normal. It was already normal for you coming up. So it's like, like I, I see it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of, what they call that? It's a lot of manipulation. Yeah. As far as like sexuality in the youth. I like, think that's the next, you know uh, I mean? it's, it's like the next thing they're really trying to focus on to change a lot of, like you said, what's happening later on. Because like you, as a boy, raising a young man these days, it's like, remember when we were young, I mean, you can catch a fade in the park, boxing gloves. I remember we used to play tackle football. You exactly. get scuffed up. It was, it was all right. Nobody told if you got punched in the nose, you get in a little fight with the dude, go home. And it's like, oh, I got a little fight. Where, oh, you know, it was, it was normal. Mm -hmm. for, for a young kid, nine, 10, 11 years old, you, had a, you got popped in the nose at least once. You had maybe a black eye. That was a part of growing up. Nowadays, of most kids, if they get hit, man, they're ready to go kill, kill, the, go kill, to go kill the school. Kill you know what I mean? Yeah. Or they're depressed. I mean, commit suicide. I mean, like, dude. That's part of being a boy. That's crazy. You know? Because it, it's not girls shooting at the school. It's these boys who have no sense of being a man. Or these niggas like, you, you lose Get beat your, up and that's, yeah, life is over. It's like, yeah, life is just over so you go home and kill yourself. Like, what the fuck? Or like, these, I seen some videos of white boys, like they recorded themselves. They went and killed the girl at her house for no reason. Just like, she was popular. She laughed at him about something. So you just went to her house and went and killed her. Like, just weird. Like, and it's just like, it's a lot of, it's a lot of bitch assness. It's you think it's like, because of the lack of just uh, uh, self-awareness or self, 
self-esteem within young men these days because they don't have the confidence where we, you know, I was, when I was 14, we tapping on windows, trying to bust cheeks, you go bra, you know what I mean? Parents, you know, we, we fight, we doing, we doing stuff that it's aggressive. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like a physical, physical thing that are asserting yourself where now there's no assertion. These guys are like real passive, real you know, passive. dudes let shit fly. I mean, it's not, it's not the same, man. Mm -hmm. It's just a different world we living in now. Like I'm starting to see it just, it's the time just changes. We in the, we in the, what's this, the 21st century? <laughs> yeah, yeah, We're yeah. We in the 21st century. With like, the music and everything, entertainment, it's everything. It's like, this is where we, it's like, it's, I, I could see what we, I could see what's coming. Like, I kind of like, I see the, I see the, like, Honestly, I feel like it's more of the black families that's being targeted though. Like it's the youth, but I think the black youth seems to be more. It targeted. doesn't seem it's, like that because same. like our influence in the music it's, goes. You know what I mean? It's it's that in particular because our, you, our you, culture, our hip hop drives the culture. The black we drive the culture. We are the swag. We mm -hmm, are the drip. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But. It's like they are fine. They found a way to kind of like come infiltrate that and water it down. Exactly. And make exactly. It a way for them to fit in. Exactly. Cause like it's like the fruitier it get, the more they fit in. And they like, and they pumping that out more. Yeah, Cause remember when like, remember remember uh, when it was Public Enemy, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Paris. It was like N.W.A. It had all this, and then they said they broke that up like the job, you know, Tribe Called Quest and. And you know some of these other, and then they started changing, and then they started like, then they pushed this. Now it's like on the radio what they put, and then they show that what these guys are doing, and probably like, this is weirdo stuff, man. I mean, you know, I know young people, and I'm not knocking them, but some of the stuff it's like, I don't know, man. The impact it's having, especially on young people who are trying to find their identity, man. It's, it's you know, that's what I'm saying. Like they still trying to discover themselves. Exactly. And this is, and if this is the image that you force feeding to them. It's, it's like inevitable, like, it's like you, you, you trying to create a generation of a bisexual, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, or, yeah. Or, or sexually confused. Yeah, yeah. Degenerates, like, or something, yeah. like, it's like, like, what is y'all doing, man? It's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy, man. I don't know. Next Because, years. like, religiously, y'all teach them one thing, but, but socially, y'all doing another, like, you know what I mean? Social social politics is completely clashing with religious like yeah. with, you know what yeah. I mean so it's like the values. You ra you ra yeah the values is clashing it's like you raise us religiously one way but then socially you telling us that it's okay to be this yeah. way so it's like which one is it like it, don't, it just don't you know it's the line just being blurred now like, you know what I mean yeah it's confusing times man for young people out there man mm -hmm. hey Big Herg, Bosco 100, man, prison talk.